Hey guys, today I am here in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I want to show you guys some of the things that I've gotten while we've been here. And this is actually my seventh time here in Copenhagen, which is so insane, but my sister has lived here for about seven years now, so I guess I visited her about once a year. And this time we stopped by some of my favorite stores and thrift shops and flea markets, and I definitely... I got a lot of things and I'm a little bit nervous that my suitcase is going to be way overweight. You'll see why. But I have a mixture here of some clothes, some home items, some accessories. So I guess I'll just start with the clothing items. Oh, and I'm not doing a vlog of this trip in Copenhagen, but I am doing a bunch of Instagram stories and I even made a little Copenhagen highlight on my Instagram so you can kind of see what we're doing throughout the day and also like a lot of really cute places that you guys should come visit while you're in Copenhagen if you ever come here. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is oh, so cool. I'm so excited about these. These are some sneakers from ARK Copenhagen and ARK is a Danish brand and they have the coolest sneakers ever. You can also get them online in the US but they just have the coolest designs. My brother-in-law actually works for them and they just are such a cool company. We got to go into the ARK store for the first time and I was blown away by how cool the designs are. And the next place we stopped might sound weird to some of you guys because we went to H&M and I know we have H&M in America, but I'm telling you, the H&M in Europe is has way more cute stuff. Like I just gotta admit. So I did pick up a few things from H&M. I got this swimsuit, which obviously I can't really wear in Copenhagen right now, but you know how when you see a swimsuit and you just know it's gonna fit perfect? That's what this one was for me. I saw it in the store and I was like, that would fit really nice. So here are the bottoms. They're just this cool like ribbed texture, olive green color. I'm very picky with my bikini tops. Oh, uh, hello, hello, how do you work? Oh, okay, I got it. I feel like I'm very picky with my bikini tops. I really like when it's like triangle shaped. I just think it fits me best. And I really liked the thick band underneath. Also got two sweatshirts from H&M. These are just kind of funny purchases because I forgot a sweatshirt at home and that's always what I like to be in when I'm just like chilling around the house and I was really missing a sweatshirt. And so I picked up two. I got them both in extra large and they're both in different languages. You'll see. Okay, so this one is I believe in French and Oh, I looked up what it meant, but now I can't remember. I think it means later or be still. Maybe neither of those are right, but it looks like this and it's actually embroidered. Like these little letters are embroidered and it's so comfy. I think this was like $14. And I also got this sweatshirt, which I've been wearing nonstop. So it's a little bit dirty. So please excuse me. Um, but it looks like this. Me and Lexi got matching ones of this sweater and it says manana which means tomorrow in Spanish and it's just so comfy. I also got two makeup bags from H&M. This is the first one. I thought this would be a perfect bag for like any type of toiletries because it's huge and clear. I love this color yellow. I think it's really cute and I just feel like this would be perfect for so many things. It's very helpful when you have a makeup bag that's clear because then you don't have to really dig in it as much. So I picked this one up and I also got the king of all makeup bags. This bag is huge. I've had my same gray one for so long. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna use this one for my makeup or this one, but I was like, honestly, these are both such good makeup bags. So I got both of them. You could put anything in here. It's massive. Like, do you see how big this is? I love it and I love the color. The next place we stopped was a store called And Other Stories, which is not a brand that I'm super familiar of, but I know they have one in LA, in LA. But my sister was telling me that this company is owned by H&M, which I had no idea. So um, yeah, it's called And Other Stories and they had some really cute stuff, but this is the only thing I got from there. It's this dress. It's kind of a longer dress and it has, let's see, grapefruit, 
lemons and oranges on it and some little leaves and it's a wrap dress and I just thought this would be so cute for the summertime like I just love this print it makes me so happy and the last place we went clothing shopping was Zara and again just like H&M I know they have them in America but a lot of the times the Zara in Europe is just 20 times better so I picked up one thing and oh I also got Ashlyn some baby clothes from from baby Zara should I go get them and show you guys I think I should okay I'll be right back okay I ran downstairs and I got the baby clothes I just think this is very worth being shown because they're so cute these are the first things I got her these little baby what are these called this isn't a onesie this is a pants oh my gosh pants I literally got the baby some pants and they're just so tiny and they're for let me see zero to one month old oh my gosh and a little matching cardigan look how tiny it is and this one is also one to three months and I love the little brown buttons oh I could look at baby clothes all day oh my gosh they're so cute this Y'all are gonna die. Look how cute this is. Tiny, teeny, strawberry bathing suit. I've never seen anything so cute. Oh my gosh. This is actually for six to 12 months. That's the smallest baby size they had, but oh my gosh, how freaking cute. <sighs> and also Lexi got her two baby clothes that I'll show you too, because they're so adorable. These little overalls, they're like linen overalls. Like, hello, I want these in my size. They're so adorable. And also, this, this is just too cute. Look at these little, oh, what is this called? Bloomers or something? Oh my gosh, I just love them. Okay, baby clothes are done, but wow. Can you tell I think baby clothes are the cutest things ever? Okay, and then I got one adult thing from Zara and I saw this skirt and I was like, oh, that has my name written all over it. It is so, I'm not gonna say cute because I know I say it too much. It is so beautiful. And here is what it looks like. It is like a white linen skirt and it comes with this belt that I actually like. And sometimes belts that come with things are just real ugly, but this one was actually a good one. And then it like goes down to your ankles or maybe like mid calf. I don't know, I haven't tried it on. And it has these big buttons and oh, I just love skirts. Now it's time to talk about one of my favorite things of all time and that is thrifting in other countries because you guys know I love thrifting so much but thrifting in other countries just feels even more magical like I just love it so much I would do it every single day if I could while I was um, traveling different places but a lot of people don't love thrifting so I usually just pick one day for me to go thrifting and dragging everyone along with me which is what i did the other day and i got so many cool things here is the first thing i got this is the tiniest thing that i have to show you guys um i'm pretty sure this is just a super old wallet but i saw it and i thought it looked like a really cool passport holder so that's exactly what i'm using it for i put my passport in here which by the way i am always so scared i'm gonna lose my passport when i'm traveling gives me major anxiety i think this was like four or five dollars we also stopped by a little local like it was kind of like a little market like but everyone had like a bunch of stuff it was, it was like a flea market basically um but this is the first thing i got from there it's an old cutting board and the guy was telling me it's handmade it definitely looks handmade and i kind of regret getting this only because i know it's going to add so much weight to my suitcase and i'm so scared i'm not going to be able to take it home but i just loved it so much so i got that i'll let you know if it gets home with me safe here's another huge thing that i bought I bought this oh I started echoing hello hello and I just thought this was the most special pot it's so cool I love the colors of it the guy that was selling this was telling me that this was hand um pottered hand uh 
made in Belgium, which I think is really cool. I also bought three prints from the flea market and two of them are pretty big. I'll try to still hold them up though and one of them is a little bit smaller and these are actually lithographs, which I had no idea what a lithograph was, but the whole process is very cool. I was learning a little bit more about it from my brother-in-law, but I'm definitely not a professional, so if you want to know what a lithograph is, I'll put a little like Wikipedia link down below. It's actually really cool. But this is the first print that I got, and every single one of the prints this guy was selling made me feel so cozy inside. It took all my self-control to not get like 30 prints. I'm pretty sure these are buildings that are in Denmark somewhere, so love this one. This is the second one that I got, and um, Austin, my brother-in-law, was actually telling me that him and my mom and dad actually drove to this windmill and like walked all around it. So I'm thinking of actually giving this one to my parents because I feel like they would think that's really special. But just like how cozy looking is this? Here is the last one I got, which is so cool. I love it. It kind of reminds me of like a little barnyard scene because there's some ki kitchens. No chickens right here can you see and it's just another really cozy print and there also was one that i didn't end up getting of like a sailboat on the water and now i'm just really regretting that decision the next shop that we stopped at i got two things and it was a really cool shop i posted some photos of it on my instagram story um, but the first thing I got was this little basket and I thought this is just a really unique design because it's like It's pretty much just seems like leather that was cut and then tied into a little basket shape And I also got this which I love again another thing that I'm like Why did I get such a big thing? It's gonna be so hard to take home but you know what, in the moment I was like, I don't care what it takes, I'm bringing this home. So um, I really like this basket. I love the shape, I love the colors. Just such a unique piece. And also I think this one, $8 or something like that. So really cool. And when we were walking around the little area that had all the thrift stores, my sister was like, don't go into this one. Like it smells so bad. Like there's nothing in there. I've gone in there so many times and I was like, that's literally my favorite kind of thrift store. I love when they just have junk everywhere. And honestly, the messier the better because the more treasures you can find, genuinely. Like, if I go into a clean thrift store, I'm, like, discouraged because I'm, like, everything is, like, perfectly curated and then it's usually more expensive. But when you go into, like, more of, like, a junk store, you can really find the good stuff. So that's what this store was. And, of course, I did find something. So here are the things I picked up from that store. Look how cool this big spoon is. I just, I'm dead. I love it so much. It's just a huge wooden spoon. That's what it is. But I also got more wooden spoons. That's actually all I got from the store. Um, I also got this one, which is also very unique design. Like, what is this? I guess it's for like scraping and scooping. It's a scrape scooper. I also got this one, which I just love these. I have these all over my kitchen because I just love like the rustic-y feel of like older wooden spoons. I also got this little tiny one, real cute. And then this, this is the thing. Well, this one and this one are the ones I'm most excited about, but this is a wooden whisk, which I had never seen before. I also just feel like it looks super Scandinavian design and I love it. And he gave me all of these vintage spoons for I think $5. So I thought that was a great deal. And last but not least, I got this little uh, jar that says Tobac, which is tobacco in Danish. So it's a little old tobacco jar, but the colors are so, so cool. So here is what it looks like and this was 200 kroner which I think is like $20 or $15 maybe um so yeah this is the last thing I picked up and that's about it that's everything that I've gotten I am hoping I can bring all of this stuff back home and it won't be too heavy in my suitcase um but yeah I'm so happy with everything that I got I found so many treasures and I can't wait to show Marcus when I get home too because he's gonna love all of this home stuff but if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you ever get the chance to come visit Copenhagen or anywhere in Denmark I would definitely say do it because it is like 
no other place I've ever been. Everyone is so nice. It's such a calm and like cozy place. I can't really even describe how special it is, but I love it so much and I'm really thankful that my sister lives here so I get to come visit a lot. But I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye!